Hi, Josh Carr here. So a question I get a lot is people will talk about XIRR, and a lot of people will use XIRR interchangeably with IRR, and I don't think they really understand how it works. So here goes. So let's take something really simple. You put some money in, say a million dollars, and in a year you're getting out like a million point two. If you asked someone who is not a financial professional what did you make, they would probably say 20%, because, you know, 1.2 divided by 1 is 20%. That's the common sense approach. The problem is, there are three different ways to calculate this, only one of which gives us 20%. The first is, if you did a monthly IRR and just multiplied it by 12, you would get 18.37. That's just wrong, because there's no compounding. You can't just multiply something by 12 and call it a day. You know, you have to take into account that going from monthly to annual, you know, again, there's compounding. XIRR, you put in the actual values, you put in the actual dates, and that's great, and it comes up with, in this case, 19.94. Now, when I do this, so I'm just adjusting the camera a bit. When I do this, that kind of works, but it's not coming up at 20%. And then if I do this method, 1 plus a monthly to the 12th, monthly IRR to the 12th power minus 1, that actually compounds the monthly and gets us back to 20. The fact that this is 18 and this is 20, that's usually not that confusing. But the fact that this is 19.94, well, that's kind of the weird part. Why? Because, and you can't make this stuff up, the way the XIRR is built it converts the daily to annual as if each year has 365 days, which means when you're a year that doesn't, like say 2020, when you have a leap day and a leap year, well, you don't end up with 20%, you end up with 19.94. By the way, this is exactly the same problem if you do NPVs. You can't just do an NPV. You have to either do 10% to the 112 power or an XMPV in order to get an answer. Now, the question then, getting back to again originally, which should I use? And not to answer a question of a question, but I think it depends. For example, in this paragraph on the left, taken from an actual partnership structure, it says, we're going to calculate the IRR based on a discount rate and a 12-month period. So, you know, that works. It's on a 12-month period. And basically, it says here, everything's monthly, so, you know, whether or not I pay you on March 5th or March 1st or March 20th, it's basically just saying March is March's money, so don't worry about it. That would be you taking it to the 12th power of minus 1. On the other hand, this version is saying, right down here, this final sentence, the IRR shall be determined using the XIRR function of the most current version of Microsoft Excel as of the date of determination. Now, it should be noted that this paragraph is actually screwed up because while the last sentence is doing an XIR... Sorry, I just knocked my headset off. While the last sentence is doing an XIRR, the sentence before that is saying, oh, ignore the fact it's an XIRR, do everything on a monthly compounding. So... This paragraph is a little confusing, to be honest. Um, they really should have deleted one of those sentences and been clear. But to make a long story short, when someone says to me, which method should you use, if it's not already written out, then I personally would just do monthly and call it a day because I think worrying about getting paid on the first versus the fifth seems ridiculous, especially because then you get into really stupid conversations like, when did I mail you the check? When did you deposit the check? When did the check clear? Is the wire transfer when you got the wire, or when I initiated the wire, and what if it's over a holiday? Like, I don't want to have those conversations with people. I think it's easier to just do monthly. But if the document's already written, well, I guess then my answer to which method should you use would be, well, what does it actually say in the document? You know, if the document's doing XIRR, then I would probably use XIR in your model because, you know, you want everything to be consistent. And that's sort of my thought on that. So hopefully this has been helpful. First off, to just say XIR does everything on a daily calc and does not understand leap days and leap years. And also for you to really think a little bit more about 
that they're not doing exactly the same thing. Hopefully you found this to be beneficial. Until I see you again, keep building better models and try to write your documents in a clear fashion so you don't have sentences that conflict with each other because, you know, that just makes me annoyed and want to throw things at attorneys. But, you know, hey, I didn't write it. Best of luck.